Hi guys, we have here uh, the Volkswagen Passat. Uh, this is a B6 variant, which is from two, uh, 2005. It's the first version of B6. And uh, we have here, and the turbocharger is removed from this vehicle. And the problem is with this turbocharger is the cord, which I will show now. Uh, yeah. This car was diagnosed with uh, these two codes. The first one you can see P0234, which is a which is a generic code, and generic means uh, most of you know that uh, whichever vehicle, whichever model uh, has this code, has the same reason, either turbocharger or supercharger. So the code says that turbocharger or supercharger a over boost condition. That means uh, in this vehicle we have turbocharger, it's a diesel car. So, so what is this overboost condition? In the beginning I was thinking maybe there was some vacuum leak because uh, the overboost is uh, related to the, you know, this control valve. It's a vacuum operated valve. Uh, this is controlling the waste gate. You can see the waste gate is here. So the vacuum was fine, even the valve was fine. I removed it and it looks like it's fine. There is some resistance and also I checked it with the vacuum. It's operating fine but it doesn't get enough power to uh, move this valve. I will show you why. You can see that even by finger, when my by my full power I cannot move it. I can move it little because this this valve is stuck inside so this is kind of a usual problem with the diesel turbos so the actual problem is that this waste gate is stuck here I tried with some WD-40 and things like that you know just to free this valve but it looks like it's re really stubborn it doesn't move so we need to get the valve uh, moved so the only way is to uh, either open and clean everything or refurbish the tu this turbo or you know just replace it with the new turbo which is not logical it's very costly so I'm going to uh, you know disassemble everything and I will check inside what's actually happening why it is stuck it's, it looks like you know this car was maybe driving only in cities which is not enough you know a diesel car needs to be driven on highways you know at least in a while because the excess um, suit the diesel suit you know the carbon suit must be gone if it accumulates inside it can block the valves you know it's a fan type valve I will show you soon so I will explain what is over boost and how it is working I will try to explain you know, my English is not that good but I will try you know when you need uh, the air the compressed air this is a turbine side no this is a compressor side this is a turbine side so the exhaust gas is coming from the engine through the exhaust manifold you can see this is the exhaust manifold these are the cylinders one two three four so all four cylinders are burning gas oh, I mean diesel and the uh, exhaust gas will pass through here and here we have the turbine and the turbine will be turned by the exhaust gas push which is pushing like you know you can see pushing like this and the turbine turbine will be you know rotating by that power so by that rotation the end of the end of the uh, you know end of the turbine shaft we, we have the compressor shaft it's a compressor wheel you can see through here so the turbine will suck the air through this this duct and the end of this duct we have the air filter so the filter air will go through here and the air will be compressed inside and the compressor will push it outside you know and 
this this is connected with the inner cooler so the the temperature of the air is very high uh, when it is exiting from the combustor side so it should be cooled down in order to uh, in order to burn you know make the combustion very very good so it will cool down through you know that uh, in the cooler which is in front of the vehicle it's inside and the air will go to the the fresh air will go to the uh, engine through inlet manifold and the inlet manifold is here air will come through the inner cooler and this pipe you can see and it will come to inlet manifold which is this one and it will go to the engine and it will burn with diesel so so when you don't want much air you know sometimes you don't need that much pressure so when the pressure is high uh, we need to limit the speed of the turbine by by that way we can limit the speed of you know the combustor shaft combustor so it will produce less air we won't damage the pipings and intercooler and inlet manifold stuff like that we can minimize the damage so we need something to control the speed of the turbine so that is what this this you know vacuum operated some some vehicles have you know like electronically actuated uh, waste gate you know actuator so this has uh, the the vacuum operated one so you can see something like this so when the then, then this valve is connected with this turbine side so so when the boost is very high the computer will the engine computer will detect that the term the, the pressure is very high so it is it is done by uh, some sensors uh, in, in you know there is a sensor called absolute manifold pressure sensor so it will measure the pressure so it will tell the computer that the pressure is high so so the computer will um, tell this vacuum to open this valve so the valve will be pushed by vacuum so the vacuum operated link will push this valve so the, this this valve on the turbo so we can divert this uh, you know exhaust gas from the turbine to atmosphere or to the silencer muffler or catalytic converter or dpf whatever you can call we can just exit it so if when the function fails engine will misbehave engine will get more more boost and you know sometimes this boost can be very very dangerous you know it can damage the engine and things like that so so that's what happened to this engine this car the boost is very high engine is detected that the boost is high so engine is in limp mode that means engine doesn't cooperate with the boost engine you know engine is under really bad performance it's not pulling that much so uh, this is a explanation to to this code so when you get this code uh, which i forgot now so when you have this p0234 that means over boost condition so you may want to check your vacuum pipes this is a tdi engine you can see the vacuum pipings are here so one pipe goes to the yeah which is this one this pipe operates this valve which is the actuator for the turbo base gate so you may have to check these pipings if it is broken cracked or something like this most of them are rubber tubings you know and uh, you may have to check your vacuum pump if it is leaking if it is performing if the vacuum pump fails everything fails especially your brake because the brake gets the vacuum from here you can see this this is a brake vacuum which is connected to connected to directly to the vacuum pump and also you have to check your waste gate valve some of them are electronic and you have to check your you know the waste gate valve if it is working just remove it and use some vacuum from engine and just try 
if it is sucking you no know, this shaft in okay and also remove this and just by hand check if it is moving after restoring this turbo i will show you this will move very freely to the left and right it's a really free thing so if it is not moving try to put some wd-40 you know so right you can see here inside this actual rod try to put some wd-40 and you know like this i can show you where is my wd i don't know see okay just like this this is something else but i'm just showing you a demo I put like this and try to free it even if it is not working like that you may have to consider you know removing your turbo either restore it or you know things like that in some conditions you may need some new turbo but most of the times you know the turbo is uh, repairable it's not a big deal so let's do, remove this turbo and uh, let's refurbish this one Now we have the turbo is removed, separated from the part. You, know, you can see this is the waste gate, which is actually very stuck. It can't even move. So basically, this valve is really free. You know, the actuator is really free now. I'll show you. You see, you can see this actually is really free the problem is with this one is with the small assembly which is a really stubborn which can move which is which means it's stuck inside the veins are sticky inside you can ex examine further you know when we remove this one this is a turbine which gets the power from the exhaust and protect the turbine you should be very careful when you handle this one it's very fragile items now let us remove the base kit and see what is inside why it is stuck it's connected by three bolts it's out so this is your waste kit, you can see when you move this actuator, so it's kind of, it looks like kind of, you know, air foil. This will divert the exhaust gas. The same shape you can see on the airplane wings, you know, it's an air foil design, so it can divert the air, it can, the air can lift this shape, so many theories behind it, you know, so anyway. This has a special ability to divert the gas. That's why it is created on this way. So, oh, this kind of, these things are stuck. Most of them are stuck. No, this one is stuck. No, this is free. This one is free, it's free, free basically everything is free so why let's get the camera so why it was stuck let's find out so we have three rollers here kind of you know not rollers but they are the they are maintaining the gap in between this turbine housing and and the waste gate so maybe this spaces are you know kind of worn out 
nobody knows let's clean it and we will see if it will be free my cheapest you know cleaning choice is diesel since I don't know it has more hydrocarbons so it cleans well I guess in my experience petrol doesn't do the trick but this always does put it in the diesel this also goes to there this doesn't need because the compressor this is not the dirty side this is the dirty side and this one it can be here but you cannot put the diesel but I will put a little bit Just like this. Some double D protein. Let it soak overnight and let's see tomorrow. Slovo. Že v tom stavu. Jako, jo. Kdyby to tak mi tak by. Já jsem takhle nem. Ale ty vole tam to bylo katastrofa. Ale. 